Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here, back again with another awesome video, and if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button, as well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So in today's video, we will be testing the Whitestone Dome Glass Tempered Glass for your Samsung Galaxy S9 series. Now in today's video, we will be featuring it with the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. And if you're familiar with my channel, you know that I have tested the Whitestone Dome Glass in the past with the Galaxy S8 as well as the Galaxy Note 8. And they definitely came up on the very top as the number one screen protector for your Samsung Galaxy series, especially with this Infinity display. The main reason why is because this thing is a full touch, which is extremely good with its touch sensitivity it is a full cover and not only full cover of the entire phone but a full cover of adhesive because you will be putting loca on the screen and it spreads apart and then you also have the full clear there's never been a more clear screen protector that i've used that doesn't take away from anything of the screen and it keeps everything a hundred percent vivid now I have tested dozens other screen protectors in the past and there's five different tests that I do with these screen protectors. The first one is the price. The next one is gonna be the installation, touch sensitivity, case friendliness, as well as scratch. So here's everything inside of the box. You're gonna get yourself a couple different microfiber wipes. These are absorption pads that you'd be able to absorb all the different loca that does come with it. Here is the screen protector itself. Here is the bridge that you lay your loca inside and it drips onto the screen. Here is your base. This is the top portion portion of the base, the bottom portion. Here is your two different locas, which is the adhesives, and there is one extra in case if you mess up. But again, if you do mess up, make sure you guys use a hair dryer to take this thing off and try to make sure everything looks perfect before you turn on your UV light, which this one is the UV light. You can plug it into a computer. You can plug it into really anything that's USB to give this thing a little bit of power. Here is your alcohol wipes, the dust removal sticker. This is the pin to pull it all the way out to get that screen protector down. And then this one right here is actually brand new into the box which is a little speaker mask so you'd be able to place this right over where the speaker is on the very top of the phone to make sure that none of the adhesive drips over into the speaker now going for the installation what you want to do is place your phone inside of this little bottom base now the nice thing about it is that when you were to press down on this little piece what will happen is when you have the adhesive inside of there when you press down it'll actually move down the device to evenly spread off between the phone now this is the point where you want to make sure you have everything clean on the very top. So this is where you use that little alcohol wipe to prep everything, make sure everything is cleaned and no dust is on there, no fingerprints, nothing else. Now you'll take your microfiber wipe, you're just going to go inside of there and then get this thing completely cleaned off. Now I do want to mention that when you are doing the installation where this side down here is going to be the bottom because this is where it tips down. The very top, this is where the pull pin is. Make sure you have your speaker on the very top. So in this way you'll be able to use that little speaker mask as well as place the pin correctly. So you don't want to have your phone upside down. This is where you move over into that little dust sticker. Just kind of go all around there. And you don't want to touch the bottom of the adhesive either. You don't want to get any type of fingerprint or any type of smudge or oil on the very bottom of the sticker. Now that the phone is completely clean, this is where you'd be able to put on your little speaker guard, but make sure you use a microfiber wipe so it is not, you know, picking up an oil or fingerprint using your normal finger. So just use that piece right there. This is where you'll place on the very top piece along with your bridge. From here, this is where you open up that colored cap, the colored portion of it. You're gonna place it right inside of the bridge holder. And then once you have everything in place and you know for a fact that you're on a table that is definitely even, now you are able to open this up. And then one of the final steps is throwing in your pin on the very top. Take off the protective layer of the tempered glass. And again, this thing is just completely clear. There is no adhesive on this piece. It is all gonna be done with the loca that is sitting right there. And this is where you have the arrow. What will happen is you will press down right over here. When all the adhesive goes down to that arrow, that's where you pull this pin. Now that the tempered glass is laying on the very top, this is where you press down. And then when it gets over into the arrow, then that's where you pull your pin. And it's really at this point, just kind of let it kind of spread across the entire screen. And if you need to, you'd be able to kind of prop this up just a little bit. If you need to get a little bit more of that loca, a little bit more of that adhesive, kind of going down towards the very bottom of the screen. Now this is where you want to be completely patient. You do not want to move the screen protector on the very top. This is where you just want it to kind of get to the very edges and don't touch anything. And then I'll show you the very next step. 
Now, once all the adhesive have completely covered everything and you saw everything close out, I do want to mention that this took probably a good full 60 seconds of it moving through everything. Now you want to take off the very top, extremely careful. And again, you do not want to touch this because it is usually aligned up perfectly. Now, this is where you'd want to come in with that UV light. Right now, I have mine that is plugged in over into the computer. And the first thing that I do is I turn on this UV light and I'll do it for about 15 seconds on the bottom, 15 seconds on the top, 15 seconds in the middle. And then I take the phone out and then I do it for the rest for 30 seconds, 30 seconds and 30 seconds. So what this is doing right now is this is using a UV light to adhere the loca onto the screen with the tempered glass. Now it's at this point in time, if you find a mistake, stop instantly right away, take a hairdryer, take it off, and that's where you'd be able to use that extra little loca bottle to try it all over again. So at this point, I now take the phone out. So on the very top, this is gonna go for 30 seconds. Now that this thing has gone through the UV light on the top, middle, and bottom for a total of 45 seconds, now this is where you'd be able to fully go all around the phone on the very top, the bottoms, the sides, and this is where you will want to go through and wipe everything off. You'll see that there will be all these different small little freckles or pieces. So this right here is gonna be that little loca that you are trying to wipe off. So once you get everything completely cleaned off um, with the little you know, alcohol wipe here, you're gonna notice the back of the phone will get probably just a little dirty as well. Uh, then you'll be able to use the microfiber wipe to get everything off. Also, you'll notice a small little smell or stench but you know what, that will go away after a little bit. So here is the finished product, and I do wanna let you guys know that this thing is just completely flawless. There is no bubbles, there's no blimps, there's nothing going inside of there. There's no glare underneath the screen because there's no air in between the phone or the screen protector just because it's just fully adhered with that loca. Now, as long as you have the patience and the time to get this thing done correctly, you'll have the exact same result as me. Go over into the touch sensitivity because touch sensitivity is a huge thing when it comes down over into screen protectors. Now, what I did was I went over into the Samsung diagnostic test. I went to the star pound, zero star pound inside of the dialer. Now we're gonna go over into the touch sensitivity. Here you're gonna see where I have to go on the very tops, the edges, and then also make an X all the way through it. Now I am going to let you guys know that I am not putting any type of hard pressure. I'm actually trying to go as light as possible with my finger. And so going along the edges, going along the bottom, usually the hard part is gonna be on the very top. Um, so sometimes when you are kind of pulling down your little notifications panel on the very top, that's what I do right here. Um, there is going to be no issues with that as well. That is why I love this screen protector is only because this thing is fully adhered. There is no space in between the screen protector as well as the screen. This thing is just 100% flawless when it comes down over into the touch sensitivity. Now I do want to mention that if you guys have a screen protector that is not the Whitestone dome glass where the touch sensitivity is not as great, pull down the notifications panel, click on that settings icon. You're going to go down to where it says advanced features. And on the very bottom, you have the option here for the touch sensitivity for if you are using a screen protector. So if you're using one of those other screen protectors that are probably about that $20 price range, more than likely you will be turning on the, the touch sensitivity to make it operate a little bit closer to what the Whitestone Dome Glass is able to do. So heading over to the next test is going to be the case friendliness because it's super important that if you want to not only protect your screen and have good touch sensitivity, you want to make sure that you can protect your phone with the correct case. And so this is where the test comes into play is this screen protector gonna be case friendly? So we're starting it off from a company called Supcase. They sent this case over to me. And if you guys are interested in any of these products that I show in this video, the Whitestone Dome Glass, along with any of these other different screen protectors, I will be placing the links below the video if you are interested. And so you guys can check on those links below. Now this case right here from Subcase kind of reminds me a little bit of Tech 21 um, mixed with a little bit of UAG a little bit. Now because this screen protector is fully adhered with Loca all the way across the whole entire thing, none of these cases will definitely pop it off. So here is the very first one from Subcase and this one has done a great job. Now the next case is going to be spec and this one is going to be that clear case and the nice thing about spec with their new clear cases the plastic they've used they actually have done a, a tremendous job with making sure that they do not turn that little yellowish tint now you can see here that placing this little case in there is pretty hard this is a tough fitting case which usually this case is the one that would pop off all the other different screen protectors but because the screen protector is completely adhered to it with the loca there is no way that this thing is going to be popping off and you can just see how clear this screen protector is it's almost as if there is no screen protector on it you just see a baby line right here and that's it as so you going through all the different tops and the bottom and the edges you can see that this case is definitely going above the top and the bottom of the screen which is nice so in this way when your phone does drop over 
onto a table or if you're at the gym and you lay it down there is no issues or problems um, and this one does a fantastic job also these edges right here are a are so far the highest edges that i've seen on the lip of the corners of the infinity display and that's usually where those things would pop off the screen protector so this one has done a fantastic job so far with spec and if it is able to fit in this case it's able to usually use or be used with any other case next up for the cases is going to be incipio so this one is the esquire series from incipio and this has been the case that i've been using for the past few days that i'm actually in love with um, i just love the way that it kind of looks with suede it feels good it's not slippery uh, it just makes it kind of feel like a good premium phone now these lips here they don't go as high as the spec does but the top and the bottom of the lips on this case does go as high as spec so when you are still able to lay it down on a table or the ground you will be fully protected Protected, and you'll also still have the screen protector here that is keeping it safe. So now we're going to move over to the UAG cases, which this is the very first case that I've ever used on the Galaxy S9 Plus. And so this one was pretty comfortable. Um, I definitely liked it for the first few days that I was using it. And again, it's going to have all the different protections that you would need for the top as well as the bottom. Um, but the edges do not go up as high as the other two cases as you've seen. And again, if any of these cases is something that you are interested in, I will be having all of these links below the video inside of the description. Now there is going to be two different colors of the UAG. You'd be able to go for this kind of ash gray color or you'd be able to go for clear. Uh, when it comes down to the black phone, if you get the midnight black, the ash color looks much better than the clear. So I'm sorry, I'm going to throw in one more little case here. This one is going to be the little S View flip cover or the clear view standing cover from Samsung. So if you do get yourself a folio cover, something that has a little S View flip cover on it or anything like that, now you'd be able to see if this one works perfectly well, which it does. It completely closes. There is no lift with this little cover right here. It completely stays on the screen so there is no issues if you were to get yourself the clear view standing cover now this is going to be the fun part we're going to go inside of there with the Mohs hardness kit as well as a razor but i will let you guys know that a razor will not scratch tempered glass just because it is metal going against glass but if you do use a pebble it'll definitely scratch the tempered glass but the Mohs hardness kit this is the one that's used for minerals this one will definitely cut it and kind of go through it and i'm gonna let you guys know exactly what level this thing is protected. So to show an example of what's gonna happen here is a Samsung Galaxy S7. You can see I already have some scratches here, but we're gonna play with it right over here on the very bottom right hand side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over inside of here with the little Mohs hardness kit. And just to kind of show you guys, this definitely will not scratch at a level five. So I'm gonna go in the very bottom right over here. I'm trying to scratch it. Um, there's gonna be nothing that'll pop up on that very bottom right hand side. Now, if you were to move over into the number six side, you will probably see a small little scratch. Now it's gonna be extremely light, but it's still gonna be doing a little bit of damage as you can see down over there. Now this one's gonna be similar as if you were to maybe drop it on cement and scratch it against a little pebble um, or on the cement where there's a little bit of, you know, something or a little bit of debris that's gonna hurt it. And then here is the edge number seven. Now this one is where it's gonna definitely hurt it quite a bit. Um, and you can kind of see here, that's the same that I've used right over there. So this is our starting point. Now let's move over to the white stone dome glass. So first off, let's just start with the little bit of a razor. I'm gonna go through it, kind of go at all these different little angles, try to see if I'd be able to kind of hurt it. I am pressing down pretty hard um, and you're probably not gonna see anything that'll come from it. And so if we were to show you right up right over there, there is gonna be no scratches. There's nothing that is coming out of it with a razor blade. And again, this is gonna be similar to change. You're not gonna hurt your phone with change in your pocket. Um, if it does hit it correctly, then maybe it could crack it a little bit, but you'd have to put a lot of pressure for that to happen. Now we're gonna move over into the tip number five. There is gonna be no scratches happening with number five. Um, this one will maybe possibly get close to scratching glass, but not tempered glass. So here's where we're gonna move over into the edge number six. Now this one is where you guys saw it, that it did scratch um, pretty well, actually, the Galaxy S7. And so I'm going through here, um, pushing it pretty hard, and there is barely any type of a little scratch. Um, there's a small little one, but it might be a little hard to see in the camera. So this one's definitely stronger than what you just saw with what most smartphones are outfitted with. Now we're gonna move over into edge number seven. And I'll tell you what, this one's doing a really good job. Um, comparing this one to what was used last year, um, it almost looks just a little bit stronger. So there you can see where there's a little bit of a scratch on the very top right there. Um, so that one is where you're gonna see the scratch, but you were not able to see it from edge number six.
And then now for fun, we definitely do want to get this thing scratched. So now we're going to move over to the edge number eight. And so here you can see where it's causing quite a bit of damage and it definitely probably went through that glass. So as you can see, we definitely hurt this glass. I went through all these different mineral hardnesses. So really what's going to happen is you're not going to scratch it with knives. You're not going to scratch it with razor blades. You're not going to scratch it with coins, nothing like that. Really what's going to happen is that if you're to maybe run into a really hard machinery with a very sharp edge of some sort, it could do it. Um, also, if you were to lay this one on the ground and slide it across the cement if there's a little bit of pebbles it'll definitely hurt your screen just as what you're seeing right here but this is where it comes important uh, this is where you actually purchase your screen protector it's because when you do get scratches like this you did not hurt your 800 or 900 dollar phone you hurt something that maybe cost you about 40 bucks that you'd be able to replace now this is the point where i'm going to try to take it off but because i cannot take this thing off at all um, if anything i'd probably break my nail before this thing comes off this is where we're gonna take a hair dryer and then I'm gonna try to pull this thing on off all right let's see if we'd be able to take this thing off now oh man look at that this is probably where it's gonna crack just a little bit um, yep there we go but at least now we are able to get this thing off and you can see that there's quite a bit of pressure just to get this thing off the phone So here is the end and final result of that screen protector. So now I'm gonna wipe the phone off as well as the table and get all these pieces of glass away from the phone. So now that the table is cleaned off, also so is my phone. There is no issues, there's no scratches, no micro scratches, nothing going on with this phone here. Um, that is why you wanna have a screen protector that is on your device. And then you wanna make sure that you have the correct case, no matter which case it's gonna be. So this one is what is protecting your phone, but the screen protector is what's protecting your screen on your device. So to sum everything up and let you guys know all the different five different test points of exactly what happened with this Whitestone dome glass. So when it comes down over into the price, this one's going to be pretty high up there in the range. There is going to be other ones, maybe the Zag Invisa Shield that's going to be extremely similar with this like 40, 45, $55 price point. This one is on the internet right now on Amazon for 45 bucks. It looks like the normal price of it is going to be 60. So you are going to see it fluctuate between 45 and $60. Now, when it also comes down to the installation, yes, it's quite a bit of work. I probably made it look just a little bit too easy but I have played with this one from before I'm definitely used to the white stone dome glass there really is almost no other you know screen protector that I would ever use on a daily basis personally as my honest opinion um, so this installation is not going to be a five out of five because there is quite a bit of different things you have to do all the different steps it's not a little easy peel it place it down put it in you're good to go um, but if you are good to go with that installation and having patience, then you will be using literally the best screen protector for the Samsung Galaxy series for these infinity displays. Then we also went over to the touch sensitivity, bar none, the literal best screen protector for touch sensitivity. Also, when it comes down over to case friendliness, bar none, uh, no case will pop this thing off. Um, it's fully adhered. I had to use a hair dryer to get that dang thing off of there and it's still cracked and buckled and, and I still had to pull it pretty hard. And then over into Scratch, almost every single screen protector is gonna be very similar when it comes to this. Um, I'm definitely gonna be getting a scratch out of it with a number six, very small. Number seven, it'll definitely scratch it even more. Number eight is where it's kind of going to the point where you wanna get this thing repaired, which again is as if it falls on the ground on cement, slides across a little pebble or a rock. That is where you get that type of a scratch. You will not get it from any type of razor blades, scissors, um, coins, knives, whatever it is, it's metal. It does not scratch glass. And so that's pretty much it. So you guys just saw a video of literally the number one screen protector you'd be able to use for the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. Also look at these things. Um, if you do have yourself still the Samsung Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, as well as the Galaxy Note 8, literally the exact same type of stuff, exact same, um, everything that you get inside of the box and everything is premier quality. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also hit on subscribe if you have not subscribed already. That's going to be the little red circle on the very bottom of the screen on the left hand side. Share this video with your friends and family and I hope this thing has helped you guys out. And outside of that, I'll see you guys later.